best way to get to know somebody is on a bike and camping <laughs> because you can't hide. Yeah, literally, you know, on a bike, you get to suffer together, you get to laugh together, you get to go uphill and downhill together. Like, it's amazing. The South Platte is such a low-key gem of a place in Colorado. It's very much characterized by granite domes, ponderosa pine, blue spruce, like these beautiful flora and fauna. For me, it very much feels like home. Bringing in these amazing other black and brown riders is significant because, to be honest, I probably have been the only black person in this county since I've been here and it has never felt completely at home because I haven't been able to share it with people that share so much of my story and my struggle and joy. When we got this plan together, I was like, what is Rachel Olzer doing? Like, we were able to get together and just take up so much space. The space that I had been wanting to take up for so long, particularly here. One of the things I think is really important for marginalized people is especially like black and brown outdoor folks is that lots of times you can feel like you're the only like in your community you can connect with people across the world and feel less like oh i'm the only one doing this i really kind of like stepped into trying to create those spaces on online and like through Instagram. I think that's how Jalen and I got connected. It was like, um, you know, like he's, a, he's another black person that's like outdoors. And I love that. And like, I want more of that. And I want to connect with more people who are, who are in that space. It's longer. It was like, it's only 30 miles. Oh, it's no, like no, 35. No. Okay, it's 40. Vinch is now 43 miles. 44. 44. 44. <laughs> I for about 40 miles the first day, 44-ish. It was just a ton of fun. I don't think I stopped laughing until we hit the paved road. The paved road was definitely a low. It was a low just because one year on the side of the highway and that always kind of sucks. But also we just kept riding past Trump flags like every quarter mile. It's just like uh, slightly triggering and like, okay, I gotta kind of know where I am as a black person and the beliefs that I hold that I am again yet again the minority. I, coming out here I think there was a lot of like stress and anxiety for me about like well, well like if I don't like perform well on this trip then they won't see me as like a real cyclist anymore and I kind of learned pretty quickly that that just wasn't gonna happen which is good because this was fucking hard for me. <laughs> We found this ideal campsite along a shoreline, and we had these massive bluffs right behind us. Set up camp, it was like, you know, I bivvied. Rachel, we set up a tent. We had dinner, it was, it was delicious. Oh, uh, yeah, the stars were insane. Particularly being on bikes is like a great way to, to get out and explore and it feels like a dream come true. Something that, you know, Rachel and I share is we, we did both get kind of a, this big start into climbing. So we had a rope and, you know, a little sport rack and we dropped down into 11 mile and then we climbed up and climbed um, around this area called Pinecomb Dome. It's funny because I started off mountain biking with climbing gear. I literally got a mountain bike so that I could get to this crag because the approach was god awful if you had to walk. And then I kind of got away from climbing more recently. So it feels like I'm kind of coming back around yeah. to it with this trip. His experience with climbing and 
my experience with that. And those things are so important for like, not just connecting with others, but honestly like coming into yourself and falling in love with yourself and being able to accept who you are and not feeling like, you know, if you read the same stories about people who aren't like you over and over again, it can feel so isolating like, oh, well, if that's not my story, then something's wrong with me. And when you like see yourself reflected in other people, you feel more at home in your own body and mind. And I think that's so critical for people to experience.